Okay, obviously that's from Dumb and Dumber. I am so tired. <laughs> So I've worked like, so I worked like 12 hours today and I've worked like 10 hours a day every day for the past seven days and I am exhausted. Basically my brain has like 3% ability to continue to think. But the reason why I've been working so much is because the local city center and my biggest client of all is finally taking shape. Today was a huge day because the past seven days have all been dedicated to just so much plumbing, which has left me in a basement with very little ventilation with a whole a lot of PVC cement and acetone fumes. But today the tank officially got its first 4,000 gallons of salt water. Also we put in about 2,000 pounds worth of live rock and I found this really cool little mantis shrimp in the live rock today and I actually kept him in this water bottle. The mantis shrimp seriously is incredibly interesting as a creature, so after this video just go google it and read about it. Also I named him Manti. So it's officially finally TV week with Super Carlin Brothers. And because yesterday you talked about what makes something newsworthy, today I'm going to talk about a show that I have recently power watched called The Newsroom, which stars Harry from Dumb and Dumber, aka Jeff Daniels. If you watch Dumb and Dumber first, it does take a while to get over that fact when you watch this show. But to me, the show was amazing for two reasons. One, because it completely changed my way of thinking about something that I actually would have thought that I understood pretty well, and that's how news goes from the source to the TV station and then gets redirected to us. Maybe this is only interesting to me because our dad was a news TV anchor, but it really is is kind of cool if you've ever wondered about how that process sort of comes together. It'll make you extremely strict as to what you consider news from that point on. Point number two, the writing is amazing. The show basically fully relies on the interaction and the dialogue between the characters and there's no like added explosions or any special effects or anything like that. The show itself, the way that the characters interact is just really, really amazing and what they say is so interesting. And in plenty of instances I have thought that this was the case but never so much so to where I actually went through and like looked up the writer to see more about that person specifically and this time I did. It's a guy named Aaron Sorkin and it was really interesting interesting just to kind of like actually take that much effort to see how it possibly came to be that that show existed. Fortunately, this show is on HBO, which means it can be kind of tricky to watch if you don't have HBO or HBO Go. Now, I know for me personally, I have Xfinity, which allows me access to HBO Go, so if you know anybody with Xfinity specifically or cable in general, like beg them to either set up an HBO Go account or something so that you can watch this show, because it really is that good. It's a show that I had pretty much watched basically on a whim. I had had no other real reason to like specifically watch it. Nobody had ever gave me amazing reviews about it or anything. I just kind of decided one day I'll give it a shot. And it became like one of my favorite TV shows. So on Friday I asked if anybody else actually power watches shows and I was excited to see that it's not just me. But I asked that question mostly because I have a tendency to power watch shows. So for my question of the day today, do you ever like equate watching a TV show series? to reading a book? Or is it a totally different experience to you? And I ask this not to be controversial, but I seriously think that people approach these two things in very different ways just depending on who you are. Like I know for me personally when I read a book, I go through and I pull a lot out of it and then there are things that like I will always bring up as talking points from then on because now I know because I read a lot about it. And so for me, that's kind of the same way that I approach a TV show. When I watch, I really like engage and bring in all the details and I learn about the environment that they are actually like acting in and I think that's really interesting. So obviously of course with the exception of having to like mentally create the world that the characters are living within, I do think that the two experiences are fairly similar. It's just another one of those is it just me situations, but leave it in the towel section down below and Jay that's everything I've got for you today man, I'll see you tomorrow.